if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And with the goddamn hair, your league. So, we are about to get into T Room's video, Neek filming for a reality TV show. CJ So Cool calls out Kaisenet, and I show speed for disrespect. Let's get it. It was rumored that Basketball Wives would start in Orlando spinoff, and Megan James would be a part of the cast. Now, the founder of Basketball Wives, Shawnee, also pretty much confirmed that they will have a spinoff in Orlando. Well, as of now, Megan, James, Mulan, and Neek are all in Orlando. And when Neek hmm. was on live, she did inform everyone that she took a new job and rumor- She sure did say she had a new job. I'm with you on this one, T-Room. As it is, that job is on Basketball Wives Orlando. Mm -hmm. I'm in Orlando. She did say she had a new job, and I'm like, new job? <laughs> Don't win the fuck. What? <laughs> okay. I'm out of town. Thug it with my round. Sound fun, y'all. Yeah. They asking me, did I move to Orlando? Yes, you guys, I moved to Orlando. She just dropped a video I'm about that, too. I'm it in my video, though. It's right. as if Neek will be joining Basketball Wives. So you guys let me know how you guys feel about Neek actually stepping into the reality TV show world. Girl, get that money. First of all, Mr. Bacon better be on there because he need a bag right now. First of all, I don't know why he can't stay on an NBA team because I don't think that he trash. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. Um, and maybe he got to try for another team or whatever, and that's fine. But... <clears throat> Mr. Bacon deserves to be on the basketball team. All right. Now, I don't think he should go overseas anymore because that was very much dangerous of what was going on with the whole situation in, in him and that, that overseas shit. So he needs to stay his ass in America. Okay. And if he's just going to be on basketball wives, I mean, uh, let's do it. Yes, yeah, sneak. Get that money, honey. I'm for it. Okay. Very interesting to see a lot of YouTubers stepping over to TV. But anyways, Get you guys leave your opinions on that down below. But let's move on to this next topic with Lena and this $750 cash app giveaway that people are stating is a scam. Hey, I feel like we could all use a little quick $750 and I cash app real quick and I'm going to teach you how to get it, okay? Like you know, a lot of people in Lena's comments actually... Y'all, funniest shit in the world. These <clears throat> same people hit me up. They said they want they was gonna give me a um a, a deal or whatever to do this shit, right? And I said, okay, like what's the job? First of all, what they was trying to pay me just wasn't enough. You were coming up short. I'm like, what's the job? All right, basically, you gotta um basically make it seem like you getting seven hundred fifty dollars. I'm gonna just put it like that. And I'm like, okay, because they were showing me videos of people that already did this. And I was like, do you actually get the $750? And they said, yeah, if you go all the way through with the whatever. So I was like, okay, A, why y'all not paying me $750? And B, how am I supposed to show that I got $750 in this cash app? Do you know that they said you have to have a screenshot or... Somebody can send you $750. And I said, no, ma'am, I'm not interested. And they asked me, why? Why aren't you interested? I said, all these women who follow me will not be hitting me up talking about Neek. You done basically scammed us telling us we could get $750 off this shit and we can't. No, ma'am, I'm not doing that. And glad I didn't. Lainey, you shouldn't have did actually that Actually tried to get the $750. They were claiming you never did that, that this shit. was a scam. Someone states, you never as you can see, shit. she didn't slide over to her received payment because King sent her that Damn. $750. She didn't even explain did to y'all what all you have to go through and you still don't even get the money. So not too long ago, Kaisenet reacted to CJ's music. And as you guys know, Royalty and her kids responded 
royalty was stating like look when can me and my kids pull up now cj went live on youtube and he also briefly spoke on kai sinet and her interaction that he had with kai and speed where they didn't speak to him and he felt like he wasn't being respected shout out to kai they don't have to speak to you because i just got paid like eighteen thousand dollars after he uh shouted me out so once he shouted that song out TuneCore was like it just blew up this old song paid me 18 racks in like two days because people were i don't know posting it on youtube and doing all kind of stuff and every time you guys you better be happy that kai posted that shit. post or react to my songs i get paid so i can't get mad at kai for giving me an extra eighteen thousand dollars. let's round it up and say 20k i can't get mad at kai for giving me twenty thousand dollars how can i get mad it's my song i made it if you don't like it i can't force him to if you think it's funny i can't tell him it's not so shout out to kai shout out to all y'all streamers everybody that made fun of the song all the TikTokers that made fun of the song all the youtubers that reposted it and made fun of the song i like that you know why it's called engagement and if you're not engaging with me you probably hating on me and if you hating on me you're not benefiting me so if you're not benefiting me that is when we have an issue but until then we don't got no problem so shout out to kai Shout out to anybody. Actually, I have a cool story about Kai. I met him in real life, but it wasn't official because I was in a restaurant, chilling, eating, me, Lexi, Big Al, some other people was with us. And we're in Miami, and Kai walks in with speed. Kai, speed, four security guards. They just walk in the restaurant. I'm sitting out eating there. I'm like, man, I'm looking familiar. They looking at me like, hey, he looks familiar. I don't say anything to them because... I ain't gonna lie, they doing better than me in the social media zone right now. So I'm not finna be approaching people like, ah, cause I What? Cause they're doing better? I don't speak. Not because anybody's doing better. I don't like to bother people when they outside. So unless you like, look like you wanna be bothered, and most of the time they doing this. Oh shit, there go Kai. I'd be like, yep, what up, Kai? He'd be like, yep, and, and keep it moving. But the first thing you say is, I, of course I'm not going to speak to them because they're doing better than me. Like, what the fuck? After today, I'm going outside somewhere because people have lost their damn mind. And then to come on here and admit that they're doing better than me. You in the same breath can say, I just made 18000 off that video. Or that song. And then in the same breath say, I ain't gonna speak because they doing better than me. Yo. Honestly, I ain't, I ain't nobody fan. I'm a fan of myself and my kids. You don't, you're, you don't have to be a fan to speak to a soul. What's going on, brother? How you? Shit, I'm good. How you? Cooling. Next. Who the fuck about to be like, hey, can I take a picture? Now, I feel him on that because I told you I don't take pictures with none of these niggas because I'm not a fan neither. But it's just like, Yep, you know what I'm saying? And if we look at each other, I'm de What going on, Kai? God damn, you staring me down, my boy, you good? <laughs> the fuck? That's it, I ain't fanning out of nobody. I'm sorry, do I listen to people and watch music videos? Yes, but I'm not fanning out over a streamer. I mean, it's just not me. That is for the younger generation to do. I understand it. It makes perfect sense, but it ain't for me to do. So when I see them walk in, so I didn't say a thing. Speak they looked at me. Now. They was talking amongst each other. I was talking to my people. And then my people was like, where well, was Lexi? She don't know them. She never saw them in her life. Why are they looking at you like that is what she said. I was like, because they know exactly who I am. And then I was like, they're big YouTubers. They're both big as hell on stream. They're just, they're big right now. So that's why they got security. She's like, oh, wow, that's cool. And I was like, well, hopefully they say something. You know, they say something. I'm going to for sure say something back. We can get it. They don't have to speak to you. Picture, chop it up, maybe collab. You ain't got to get a picture. And you should have been talking to them to collab. The hell is wrong with him? I don't care. Who knows? Like, don't if I'm CJ so cool and, and Kyle walk in the building, I'm absolutely going to speak. Especially if you look at me. Oh, because we can have a different conversation. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on one second. Y'all, I didn't even fucking fart. If I would have farted, I would have sharted. When I went to the bathroom, right? Y'all remember on, um, on, uh, <laughs> on, what's it called? White Chicks, where Marlon went to the bathroom. He said, move, bitch. <laughs> so I went to the bathroom and I moved TT out the way because I had the same 
feeling he had when he had the shit in that bathroom. Y'all, that was the funniest shit in the world just now. Woo! All right, let me finish this. But I want to say this. As CJ so cool, you're supposed to have a conversation with Kaisenat. Kasanat ain't supposed to have a conversation with CJ So Cool. But Ka CJ So Cool will have more of an opportunity to do a video with Kai than me. So I would speak to just, eh, yeah, what's going on? He should speak to, um, what you call that shit? Uh, network. Crazy. Long story short, they standing in line for about eight minutes because it's a long line at this restaurant that I already got my food to. And when they finally ordered... They walked right past me like I was a ghost, even though they was just looking at me this whole time. And then when they did that, I realized that either one or two things happened. One, they don't like me. Or two, it's a, that younger generation thing where the younger kids sure, don't maybe. understand respect and they don't know how to give respect even when they're doing good. Because I'm going to tell you like this. Then what about the older generation, which is you, and not speaking to the younger generation as winning? I'm confused. When I first started YouTube... If I would have seen someone who was doing YouTube before me way better than me and I was inspired by them and I've actually wrote them in their DM before, I would have at least said, what's up? Like, hey, what up, bro? Hey, keep it up, bro. Y'all said fire. Whatever, right? It's simple. But they just walked past me like I didn't exist. So that's when I was like, you know, <laughs> they don't exist to me then. They popular. They famous. They rich. It doesn't stop my shine. I do what I do. They do what they do. We're totally different people, right? But then I wanted to, because Lexi and everybody. Did that nigga just say they popular, they famous, and they rich? Something wrong with buddy. And my friends that was there that saw it, it was like, Something why is people like that? Why do people do that? Da, da, da. So I was like, I don't know, but let me go check the DM. And I, I'll DM them and let them know like, hey, I saw y'all today. That was me. Wow. And I go you and I check my them? DM. And I check Speed's Instagram. Speed is big. And there's DMs from Speed in my message. I never saw them before. So they're like unapproved. I have to approve them. They're from like 2017, 2018. I'm like, what the heck? This is kind of crazy, right? So if you know me, you know that in 2015, I started YouTube. In 2016, I became a bigger YouTuber. In 2017, I was the biggest YouTuber. In 2018, I remained up there. 2019, I remained up there. It was 2020 COVID time when things started to change, but I still was getting over a million views a video. So nobody can say I wasn't big, but I wasn't getting 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, whatever, 20 million, 15, 10. I wasn't consistently getting that by 2020. So by 2021, 2022, 2023, here we are today, right? That's a lot of years that went past between Speed DMing me all those times and me not seeing it. And then him becoming a little bit older and becoming a YouTuber. Now, by the way, Kai never DMed me. So he never did that. But Speed did. And for Speed to have done that and been next to Kai and with Kai and both of them saw me and recognized me, even though I didn't have my jury on, it don't matter. Shout out to uh, Melina X with the $5 from London. Appreciate that. It just showed me that people are your fans and then they don't want to be your fan anymore once they become somebody or once they're older or once it's not cool to be your fan anymore. So when that happens, that's when you realize that these people are fake because I'm still fans of Nelly. I still like Chris Brown. Now, y'all know what Chris Brown did. He literally played me in my face. I was right there at an event, all famous people. I asked his people, can I get a picture? They told me he was busy playing video games, which I can see for myself. So I still a fan of Chris Brown. Still got his music. Still, I don't follow him on Instagram, but. I am cutting this bullshit off. <clears throat> okay. I could have been a fan for you. Realize that you didn't see my motherfucking comment. And I thought to myself since he didn't see my comment or since he didn't uh comment back what am i speaking to you for you ain't even hit me back now i'm up and you want me to speak s m d okay y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below love y'all appreciate y'all bye Ciao. bye